Hey everyone. Had some requests to uh, show the breech block on the sharps and actually uh, take it out. And we'll do that right now. Hopefully that's in frame. So I'm going to pull the hammer back. There we go. I'm going to press this little screw here. Hopefully it's hard to do whenever you can't see what I'm doing. This little screw here holds this lever in place. I press the screw, slide the lever down, open it, and now let's see if I can do this in frame. Right there. Now it's as simple as pulling straight up and out. And there is the pin that holds the breech block in place. And I think this is stamped. Yeah, this has a little S on it. I don't know if the lighting's going to be good enough. There's a little S at the bottom. That's very difficult to see. Get the light just right. Maybe you can see it. Maybe not. Maybe too difficult. So, we're still in frame. Okay. Then you just pull straight down. And there's the breech block, and you'll see here the extractor also comes out, and this is all oiled up. Here is the breech block with lots of oil on it. And firing pin right there. And there's the where the hammer actually strikes. It is obviously right here. So we have a cartridge in there. It's right up against the back of the breech block and the hammer strikes here operating the firing pin just like that and right in here is where the extractor rides the extractor actually sits if I remember right I haven't taken this apart in a long time the extractor sits just like that and goes up into the frame I think there are markings I may have showed it in the last video yeah, on the side here, this is difficult to get in my light right now. Right down here is LC. There, you can kind of see it. L and C stamped in. And then let's see here if there's any other markings. I don't think there are. I think that's the only one. So, here's how the, here's the whole lever mechanism attached with screw. There is the breech block on the sharps in the extractor which also has LC on it uh, that'll be really hard actually it's got part of the serial number stamped in it right down there two two numbers it's either serial part of the serial number or it may just be military stampings um, when I called the guy who has all the sharps records a lot of these sharps were um, redone for military use when uh, in the 1870s for cartridges and uh, they interchanged a whole bunch of parts, so it's not rare to find certain smaller parts with different numbers on them. So there's the breech block on the sharps. Now to put it back together, I haven't done this in a long time, so you'll have to bear with me. This may take me a minute of fumbling, especially trying to get it all in frame. So. I'm going to put the extractor back into the block. Now this is the gentle part where you have to get it just right. And I don't have it just right. Difficult to get all this in frame. Let me take it back out. Try to get this going correctly. Basically it has to go in just before everything else and I probably can't do it like this and keep it in frame so I may have to cut this video short put this back together on my own which is probably what's going to have to happen but that's the breech block several requests to show that so that's that I'll put it back together and maybe bring it bring it back to you with it back together off camera thanks for watching Hopefully I can splice these two videos together. Um, it takes about 15 seconds whenever you're not trying to get it on film to actually 
put the breech block back in. It's actually very simple. Um, you just have to work with the parts to get them all aligned. And it really does only take about 20 to 30 seconds. So just in case anyone was curious, um, it is back together and it is totally back together. I don't know what else to say about that. But you can see here maybe the extractor on the left. When you drop it, it'll push the cartridge back out. And if you really let it go, it'll really kick it out. That's that. There's the sharps again. Good old sharps. Back together and oiled up that needs to be a bit cleaned up. Thanks for watching.